LG G Styler Boost Mobile User HD here, and today I'm doing an app review. This is a launcher review that I'm be doing today. Uh, today we'll be, we'll be taking a look at BlackBerry Launcher for uh, Google Play here. It's free to download from Google Play, so you, you guys, so you, you guys can check it out for free. It's free from Google Play here. So you, as you guys can see here, this is the launcher. Um, this kind of looks like it is on the BlackBerry Pro, but the icons. Um, are stock LG icons, but you can download icon packs from Google Play if you want. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, they have uh, um, they have a few selections of wallpapers here, and I have one right here on the screen. Uh, I think it's the same wallpapers that you will see on, on the BlackBerry Pro or the new BlackBerry made by Alcatel. So um, yeah, so that's what that launcher looks like. Um, so if you guys see a download icon, it tells you that uh, you, yeah, you can download that uh, app if you want. So BlackBerry Hub Plus services needs to be downloaded, but I'm not downloading that shit. Um, yeah. Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, so yeah. Um, so if you guys see like the three little dots, that means it's a pop-up widget is available. So say example Google Play. So you just what you do is swipe down or up and. Uh, app there and it'll bring up a widget here. This is from Google Play. Uh, up here, you'll have three little dots. Uh, you, you can turn off pop up widget or change your widget. Uh, you can hold this down and go one, two, one, two. The second uh, home screen there, uh, you can't add no more. I, I, I haven't been able to add no more home screens, but you get two. Um, uh, I had the lock screen thing, and you do have to give access to that. If you click on that, it just basically just locks your screen. Um, yeah, and you can also check the data usage there. So I've used a lot of data there. As you can see, there I'm using a lot of 23 gigabytes of data there. Um, and it has a BlackBerry folder, and you can download all these BlackBerry apps if you want. Uh, BBM, Task, Device Search, Notes, Hub, Calendar, Contacts, Password, Keeper. Um, you can also change the name of the folder if you want. I would not be doing that. Um, you click on uh, the app drawer here. Basically, it'll like, give you like stock Android uh, experience here on the uh, app drawer. But it's like kind of like thing for BlackBerry and shit. Uh, if you guys see it like a little asterisk, it means that I have a, a, a notification. So AOL, I have a notification there in the in my screen recording. I, I have a, a notification for that. Uh, just ignore the ad on top there. I'm not sure what the fuck I'm doing there. Uh, you can sort these apps by default, alphabetical, newest, most used, or classic. The widgets are uh are um. So you, you scroll up and down. There's your widgets here. If you guys want to place a widget, just hold it and place it on the home screen. Tells you after you create the widget, BlackBerry Launcher can access all data it displays. Um, you do have to give uh, BlackBerry Launcher the permission to have a widget that you do have to give it permission for that. So I want to be doing that. So the, the widget goes away. Uh, you can have shortcuts. Um, communications, you can compose email, compose text message, email contact, text contact, calendar and agenda, add event, today's agenda, contacts, add a contact, view contact card, phone, call voicemail, check call history, dial pad, speed dial, media and productivity, add note, add test, play a playlist, record video, device, check battery level, check data usage, flashlight, lock screen, Media volume, ring volume, set ringtone, set wallpaper, turn Bluetooth on off, turn Wi Fi on off, wireless and networks, alarms and timers, new alarm, new timer and new alarm, view alarms, and other just have uh, other stuff I want to be uh, viewing now because it probably show my contacts or whatever. Um, you can also search for apps like YouTube here. So you can search for apps and whatever. Let's search for YouTube that as you guys saw. Uh, settings here, here. 
uh, you can preview and view wallpaper. I'll show you guys that in a second. Pop up widgets, app icons display and in it indicator if a pop-up widget is available and you can swipe up or down on the app to see the pop-up widget icon packs I mentioned this earlier uh, you can use your system icon packs or you, or you can uh, download, download them from Google Play so that's pretty cool uh, prompt when turning app on all prompt when turning off apps show a dialog warning before you turn on a built-in app open source license is time to use Blackberry Hub you can subscribe to that or explore Blackberry Hub Plus apps. So thank you. You had to install Blackberry Hub Plus apps so you can use the uh, apps I just met. That's I said you in the Blackberry folder. So you do have to install that first, I believe. That's not installed, so I will not be installing that. Wallpapers that they got. Oh, they're alright, man. They're okay. They're okay. They're, there's a few of them here. Um, there's that one. And that one. That one. This one, the one I got on my home screen there right now. This one, this one, and this one. That's all they got. Uh, everything else is the same. Getting it, getting in the navigation bar is the same. Uh, you know, it's ba this is basically a launcher here. So you just do this one, two, one, two, one, two. And then whatnot. Um, this launcher is free to download from Google Play. But if you guys want to get like the full BlackBerry experience, you guys want to download BlackBerry Hub Plus services. Um, it's free to download and it does have a 30 day trial. Alright. Alright. So I just uh, hold down. If you hold down on the launcher, this will show up. And you can add wallpapers, widgets, icon packs, and settings. So you would have to do that. So you hold hold down that you could uh 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 you can make that your home screen. I'm gonna make this make it this one. I think you only have two. Um, so it depends on you 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 can add apps and widgets to it or whatever. But you do have to get the launcher permission for it to add widgets to the home screen there if you use this launcher. Um, so, uh, I guess it's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's for the download, but the BlackBerry Hub services, guys, it's for the download, like I mentioned. You, you do get a 30 day trial. Uh, you can take, you, you, you can continue to use it for free after the 30 day trial, but you will have ads on that. But it's 99 cents a month after the 30 days if you guys want to use it without ads. Um, that's the only way that you'll be able to get the BlackBerry ads, I believe it is. So, uh, get down on that and you should. If you do, you should be able to get all the BlackBerry apps I mentioned earlier. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it now, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure that be an industry sucks, sucks video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for, for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.